This technique will discuss placement of an epidural catheter using the following supplies. Epidural catheters are indicated for analgesia and anesthesia for thoracic, abdominal, or pelvic limb surgery or long-term pain control for thoracic, abdominal, or pelvic limb pain. A TUI needle is used to insert the catheter. The arrow on the stylet indicates the direction of the opening of the bevel. The TUI needle has a rounded end and is only open on one side. The patient is clipped and surgically prepped for this procedure and then draped. The drapes have been left off for visualization purposes. The patient is placed in sternal recumbency with the legs brought forward. The patient must be exactly straight and the midline must be able to be easily located to ensure easy placement of the needle. The cranial aspect of the wing of the ilia are identified using the thumb and second finger of the non-dominant hand. The index finger of the non-dominant hand palpates for the dorsal spinous process of L6. The dorsal spinous process of L7 is very short and in obese animals cannot be palpated. The index finger then proceeds caudally until a significant depression is located. This is the location of the lungosacral space. The TUI needle is inserted into the skin and then advanced into the lumbosacral space with the bevel pointing forwards. This angle should be about 30 to 45 degrees to the vertical. If, as the needle is advanced, bone is encountered, the needle is moved in one to two millimeter increments, both cranially and caudally, until the lumbosacral space is identified. The needle is then advanced until the epidural space is penetrated and the stylet is removed. The hub of the needle is inspected to ensure no spinal fluid is seen. Air is injected into the needle to ensure it's in the appropriate location. Specially designed Teflon coated syringe is provided in the kit that has no resistance to the passage of air. This syringe is attached to the needle and approximately one cc of air is injected into the needle. If there is any resistance on the plunger of the syringe, the needle is in an inappropriate location and should be reinserted. Once the position of the needle has been confirmed, the catheter is inserted. The catheter should be pre-measured to the approximate desired location. Catheters should extend to about L4 for pelvic limb problems, should extend to about L2 for abdominal surgery or abdominal pain, and to the level of T10 for those patients with cranial abdominal surgery or cranial abdominal pain or caudal thoracic procedures. The catheter is inserted into the needle. The thread assist device can be used if desired to facilitate placement. The needle may need to be angled slightly caudally to facilitate placement of the catheter. There will be minor resistance to passage of the catheter. Once a catheter has been placed at the desired location, the inner wire stylet is gently removed. And then the TUI needle is also removed. The catheter is stabilized gently at the skin entry site during this process or at the end of the hub of the needle. The catheter is left long if it will be used for anesthesia and if only being used for analgesia, the catheter can be cut shorter at this point in time. The catheter is inserted into the specially designed lure adapter. And then it is snapped down to secure the catheter in place. A filter is attached to the lure and at this point in time injections can be given.
butterfly wing is placed over top of the catheter at the skin entry site and sutured to the skin. The suture grooves in the butterfly wing also must be sutured to prevent the catheter from sliding off the butterfly. Antibiotic ointment is placed over the skin entry site followed by sterile 4x4s and a water repellent dressing is placed on the outer edges. This can be stapled in place if this patient is to be going to surgery as a temporary dressing and then once surgery is completed this dressing will be changed since it frequently gets wet with irrigation. Catheter can be passed cranially so that the anesthetist is able to give additional drugs during the surgery. To permanently secure this catheter, several tape tabs are placed over top of the catheter. These tape tabs are designed to create a stress loop so that if any kind of tension is placed on the catheter, it's not placed at the skin site, but is placed on these stress loops. These tape tabs are either stapled or sutured in place. Once appropriate stress loop has been created, the remainder of the catheter is coiled underneath the dressing, triple antibiotic is applied, followed by sterile 4x4s, and either elastocon or other water repellent dressing is stapled to the skin to hold everything in place.